This video combines sections 4, 5, and 6 of the EPS formula and will discuss how the local contribution is determined. To start, the cost of education is shared between a local contribution and a state contribution. Once the state has calculated the cost for each school district, the state splits those costs among each town in the district by how many students each town has. Using information from the main revenue service, a valuation for each town is determined. This determines the maximum amount each community needs to contribute to the cost of education based on the mill rate. This number is what the town should be able to raise. The mill rate is calculated for each community by comparing the cost of education, the property value, and how much money the state is granted to contribute. Once these three factors are compared, a mill rate is determined. We then compare the cost of education with how much the community should be able to raise based on the mill rate. If the amount the community can raise is lower than the cost of education, the state will contribute the remainder. For the communities where the state contribution is very low or no contribution is made at all, the state will adjust for the cost of educating special education students, disadvantaged students, or other costs. The state also funds special programs, such as the Career and Technical Education Centers. Payments are sent to the school districts monthly, except debt, which is paid separately. This concludes the EPS funding formula. We hope you enjoyed watching.